Hey there, good people. It's your Cripple Critic, and this week I want to do a how to install Strange Flesh video. So, lately I've been getting uh, some comments asking about installing this game, and I think some people were having some issues. I don't know the specific issues, but I just wanted to do a step by step, you know, how to install it, at least for me and how I know how to do it. Um, I'm running. Strange Flesh on Windows, so that's all I can really account for. Uh, I don't know about Mac. Um, and I can kind of show you a little bit of how you can play it in the browser. Uh, just for transparency, I want to show you uh, the stats for my computer. I'm, I have 32 gigs of RAM uh, and an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X 8-core processor. Uh, to Windows 10 Pro. My computer is relatively new. It's actually very new. And uh, so it's going to run most games pretty well. Uh, so that uh, it might be different for a lot of people, but I want you to at least see uh, that that's how I'm running the game. So uh, I'm going to go by step by step on how to install it, but in sort of my research and looking into uh, where to get the actual game downloaded from, so I noticed that the version of the game that's on the website currently is not the latest version of the game. So I'm going to show you how to download both versions and maybe briefly talk about the differences in both of them. Um, really quick, uh, it might not be known to a lot of people, but... The original game, Strange Flesh, actually had a different control set uh, when it first came out. So when you're fighting in the game, you know, there's melee attacks like punching and there's also smoke attacks. The smoke attack, uh, there's also something called smoke bomb and it's separate from the smoke attack where it has uh, the bartender pound the ground and blow smoke everywhere and it encompasses a large area and hits a lot of different enemies at once. Um, originally, in order to do Smoke Bomb, you would have to hold down uh, the Smoke Attack and Melee Attack together, both buttons, um, because I'm disabled and I'm having to use an on-screen keyboard. I have a lot of trouble doing that move. I couldn't really do it uh, because I couldn't hold down both buttons on the on-screen keyboard. So I was able to talk with the developer, one of the developers, uh, about maybe changing the controls and allowing for uh, customization specifically of that move, the smoke bomb. And uh, they did it. In a matter of days, they updated the game and allowed uh, anyone to customize smoke bomb to any button on the keyboard. Uh, the developers for Strange Flash have been really awesome from beginning to end. They've been really receptive to feedback. Um, and they did this really quickly. Uh, and I've talked about it in another video, but I wanted to bring that up because that is in version 1.4, the complete game with the ex the added addition of the accessibility option to customize Smoke Bomb is in version 1.4. Uh, on the website, though, currently, you can only download version 1.2, which doesn't have this feature. Um... Strangely, you can still play version 1.4 uh, in the browser version of the game right here. You, and yeah, when you do play it, make sure your ad blockers are off. See, it's version 1.4. But, if you want to actually download the game, it's going to be version 1.2. And I'm going to show you how to download both. So if you want to download the game yourself, though, it'll have to be version 1.2. But, I 
actually still have version 1.4 on my computer and I've uploaded it to Mediafire and I'm going to put that in the link uh, I'm going to put a link of, to that in the description down below and I'm also going to contact the developers to see if they can fix that on the website uh, but until then you can find it uh, in this link and you can find a link to it in the description down below alright so let's get into installing it I'm going to first start with version 1.2 so just go to the website, grayspare.com, strange flesh, um, down, and click on download for Windows. Click save, click OK. Um, here it is. So what you have to do is unzip the file. Now I already have a 7-zip. Um, if you don't have that, I can put that in the description box down below as well. But uh, WinRAR will also work, but I use 7-Zip. So right-click it, do 7-Zip, um, extract here. And go to the win or the folder that was made. Uh, has you know the manual and box art and everything. Um, click game files, go down to strange flesh application and double click. But if you, you know, as you can see, it's version 1.2. Um, but you can tell uh, right there, Smoke Bomb is not included, or uh, you can't actually customize it in version 1.2. And that's about it as far as version 1.2. I didn't really know of any other issues. Um, some people may need to right click it and click run as administrator. Uh, I didn't have to do that. I just clicked on it and it worked. Um, uh, but if you have a specific issue where you're having, comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Now, as far as version 1.4, just click on the media fire link that I have put click download click OK and uh, you know wait for it to finish and then go to the file going to be about the same right click it unzip with uh whatever you you know whatever uh program you have i have seven zip go to extract here open the folder uh go to game files go down to the bottom and open the application But you can see it's version 1.4 this time. Oh. But you see that uh, special has now been included down near the bottom. And that is the smoke bomb move. And you can change that to whatever you want. But like I said, uh, 
it's about that simple. Um, I didn't have any other issues. Also, you can put this in, as you can tell, full screen or windowed mode, and it plays fine. Uh, I've also played, as you can tell, with the on-screen keyboard, and it doesn't uh, pull away from the game window when you click on it. Um, like I said, I will continue to talk to the developers uh, about the issue with the, the old version being the only one you can download, and hopefully they can change it. They are very busy. There's only three of them who, who made this game, so really small team. Um, they don't have a whole lot of staff, and I've, last time I spoke with uh, one of them, they said they're working on a new project, so they are going to be kind of busy. We'll see whether they can change anything quickly, but until then, you can always click on the link I provided uh, to get the newest version of the game, but yeah, that's about it, you guys. Uh, pretty simple. Like I said, if you have any other issues, any specific ones, please put them in the comment section down below. This game is one of the most popular on my channel. I'm really, really happy people are still playing it and enjoying it. Um, thank you so much as always, and... I will see you later.